She lost her baby inside a sweltering SUV parked outside a home daycare. And now she's looking for some answers. As you can imagine, this woman's emotions range from confusion to devastation to anger. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris. Sh Sharice McRae can't understand how her baby was left inside a car on a very hot day for four hours. Tonight, through her anguish, she wants to warn parents and grandparents about what could happen. She chose to share her story only with us. Bob Jones is live from our Akron Bureau at the Akron Beacon Journal with more on this mother's heartbreak. Bob? Well, Lee, Cherie says her 13-month-old baby girl was the perfect baby girl. Always happy, lovable, and she loved to dance. Tonight, Cherise is struggling to cope, struggling to understand, and continuing to ask the same question, how could this happen? I loved her very much. This video of Alani McRae, taken just a few weeks ago, captures the joy she brought to her parents' lives. She'd give you this big smile with these bright eyes that just would make you melt. Her name, which is Hawaiian, has special meaning, especially now. Alani means cloud from heaven. Last Friday, Sharice, who works as a banker, got a call to hurry to Akron Children's Hospital. She would learn Alani was left alone inside an SUV for more than four hours, with temperatures soaring above 90 degrees. Alani died at the hospital, leaving her devastated mother with many questions. Why? She was little, young. I felt like, um, I feel like I didn't have enough time. You know, you never think that in that short period of time that, that that's it. You know, just barely over a year. Police say Alani's babysitter drove five children to her mother's home on Russell Avenue around 9.30 Friday morning. That location is also a home daycare. But for some unknown reason, the babysitter took four of the kids out of the vehicle, walked inside, and left Alani in the SUV. I lost my baby. There's anger, not at anyone in particular, but just anger because I don't have her anymore. As Cherie struggles to comprehend her tragic loss, she's comforted by the community's support. So I just want to take the opportunity to say thank you to everyone who's said a word or sent a message or tried to send some type of love. Just thank you. Tonight, she wants everyone to stop and think about the dangers of leaving a child inside a car. Maybe if someone sees her face, they'll remember her and they'll think back to this and they'll, you know, maybe it'll save someone else's child. And funeral arrangements for Alani McRae are still pending. Tonight, police are still investigating this tragic death and we're told that detectives and prosecutors are scheduled to meet and discuss possible charges. Again, we talked to Sharice about this whole situation, but she did not want to answer any questions about the babysitter as this case continues. Bob, any word or any statement coming out from the actual daycare? Is it still functioning? We're not exactly sure about that, Danita. So far, there has been no comment from the daycare. Police are still trying to question them and try to get answers from the babysitter. Again, this was a mother and a daughter. We're told the babysitter took the kids from her location somewhere in Akron over to her mother's home. That is also a daycare. So there's a lot of confusion, a lot to look into tonight. All right. We thank you very much for your story, Bob.